just a I'm 16 and I like food, music, and art, or specifically painting. But what is painting? And an even better question, what is art? Now, if I start going all the way to how art started, this video will never end. So let's ask our most accessible website, Wikipedia. Art is a diverse range of human activity and, result and resulting product that involves creative and imaginative talent and expressing or technical proficiency with the emotional power of art. Simply put, or the way I like to define art, is the practice of using your imagination to create something. And there are so many ways people use their creativity to create something beautiful. And the list can go far beyond my knowing, but we'll focus on the one I currently know and practice, painting. According and again to Wikipedia, painting is the practice of using paint to create a piece of art that is usually done on the solid surface like a canvas. But what the slathering liquid pigments onto a canvas get you? The Mona Lisa. Who knew? The Mona Lisa is a very well-known portrait painting across the world and was done by our favorite genius, Leonardo da Vinci. Another masterpiece we all might know is Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. Fun fact, this painting depicts the view from a window at Saint Remy de Provence. Yeah, moving on. Vincent's unique art style gives the painting a breath of life, making it seem the skies are moving along the stars twinkling. Now you might ask, even in an asylum, why do people paint? Art allows people to express themselves and to inspire others. It is simply a language that speaks from the art we do. It also allows us to create worlds of our own experimenting with the elements of life in colour. How I started this personal journey of mine was of a simple reason. It just so happened I saw someone painting. But that wasn't what made me start art. It was the pure joy written on the person's face. So how does one create a painting? There's a lot to cover, but I managed to wind it down to three factors. Elements, emotion, and color. When I say elements, I don't mean water, earth, fire, air, but the environment that is going to be set into the painting. Determining what will be present in the painting allows you to then choose the emotion that will play into the painting. And finally, the color scheme. Different color schemes can result in different results. Bright blue skies always seem more friendlier than dim red clouds. People have different reasons why they do art, but for me, it is something I practice to enter the imaginative world of my mind and it helps me have a positive look on the world. Life is like making a painting. Rushing the process will not only make the result messy, but leave you frustrated. But by taking your time and appreciating the process, you will always be satisfied whether or not you have completed it. Thank you.